National Educator. Welcome learner, this is standard 5 mathematics lesson. The teacher of the day is Mr. Kago. The topic that we are going to do today is on numbers. The subtopic of the day will be the divisibility test for 3, 4 and 6. I believe by the end of the lesson you will be in a position to find the place value of 3, 4, and 6. To start us off, now, the divisibility test for 2 was done earlier on in your previous classes. Remember that any even number is divisible by 2. Any even number is divisible by 2. Just to remind you, the even numbers, they are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Those are some of the even numbers that we have. And all even numbers are divisible by 2. Remember also that odd numbers are not divisible by 2. Odd numbers, they are not divisible by by 2. So in today's lesson, we are going to go further from divisibility test of 2 to the divisibility test for 3. So before us is a chart that is going to guide us in, in exploring further the divisibility test for 3. Now, 3 a number, any number, is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3 or it is a multiple of 3. I want to explain it further. A number, if you're given any number, it is possible for us to check whether it is divisible by 3 by adding the digits of that number and checking whether the sum of those digits are divisible by 3. The other alternative is if the sum of the digits form a multiple of 3, then that number is divisible by 3. I want to start by giving an example so that we can explore and move further on this. My example here is number 81. Number 81. The sum of the, the, sum of the digit 8 and 1 is 9. That is, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. I want you to look at this. This is the number. 81 is our number here. So for us to get the sum of these digits, we must add 8 and 1 for us to get 9. I hope we are together on that. The sum that, that we've gotten, which is 9, is a multiple of 3. 9 is a multiple of 3. Number 2, you should also see that 9 can be divided by 3 to give us 3. So in simple, 81 therefore is divisible by 3. I hope you have gotten that one very clearly. Now, let us explore another example. We have a big digit here, which is 174. 